More trouble for Indian students in the United States. Indian students of the University of Northern Virginia are still uncertain of their future a week after immigration officials raided their university due to a possible visa fraud. Earlier this year, Tribe Valley University, a sham university in California, was shut down. The Tribe Valley enrolled students who work full-time without being required to attend actual classes. Students at Northern Virginia claim that was not the case at their university. Of course, the students were apprehensive about coming on camera to voice their concerns. Sarah Jacob managed to convince them for this chat. The Tri-Valley University case has shown that there are loopholes in the U.S. education system and that there are Indian students who are willing to exploit this loophole looking for a shortcut to get an American green card. Well, today, students of the University of Northern Virginia, whose school is being investigated by authorities, join me because they want to give us their side of the story. Um, first and foremost, Given what has happened at Tri-Valley, why should one believe that your university is any different? The university has a difference because uh, we have a campus. We have to, uh, we know because we are international students, so we have to attend the classes. Not more than three absences are allowed. And uh, for CPT and OPT, the documents they needed, we have to submit it because I'm, I have a CPT. Did, uh, when I submit my documents after they review, after they talk with my employment, they check and after they approve my CPT. The campus is here, the students are coming to the class, the professors are there, the instructors are there. So there is nothing wrong with our education. Okay, but a question that many people will be asking is, you have classes two times a week. So what are you all doing here in the U.S.? the rest of the week. A lot of people fear that students are coming here saying they're getting a degree but they're actually working on the site. What would you say in response to that? Well, first thing is I would mention I do have a job, all right, and it's not hidden. All right, I'm having a job that is in my own field of expertise and that is very much public. Second thing is that authority has been given to me by officials, all right. It's a regular procedure being done. I've gone through right channels, and that's how I have my job. I really don't understand, you know, how does this question come with? All right, lastly then, what happens now? That 30 days, the authorities will either close down your university. What are your fears? See, I'm here, I came here, I'm, I'm a student from the India. I came here with my American dream. I studied, I followed all the regulation and rules comes, which comes under the student visa. I took the admission in the, uh, the university which was approved by the Savings Department, University of the Northern Virginia. I finished my study according to the rules and regulation of the F1, right? The immigration department, if it will do any injustice, that will be totally wrong. So clearly one bad apple, let's say the Tri-Valley University is having repercussions across uh, universities in the United States. These students have gotten a lot more than they bargained for when coming to study here at the University of Northern Virginia. They're now getting a lesson in the American legal system and they're learning to fight for their rights. All they've got to do now is to prove to authorities that they are here legally as students and actually getting a degree. In New York, Sarah Jacob, NDTV. NDTV's Cricket App. Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.